Hey everybody, Paul back here at the Pasadena International Filmmaker, uh, well, Film Festival. And, but so far I haven't met any international filmmakers. I hope to. And you're a, a local at one point uh, here in Pasadena, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I Matthew? Lived, uh, Matthew McLaughlin. McLaughlin. Yeah. I lived here for uh, seven years in, in good old northern Pasadena. And it inspired a screenplay, and I'm excited to talk to you because a lot of these film festivals like Pasadena have a sort of separate screenplay category uh, which you are a part of. So you don't have a film here, but you've written a script that has gotten some notoriety. So first of all, how is it recognized? Are there awards? What is the whole screenplay angle of a film festival like this that perhaps people don't know about, like me? <laughs> uh, well, I, I didn't know about it. I mean, I've, I've done films in the past, and then I, I realized two years ago that there were screenplay categories in a lot of the, the film festivals here. And some of them, they're just online. If it's only a screenplay festival, it's just online. They don't even have stuff like this. So it's fun to actually be able to come out, see films. I was at the Pasadena Film Festival last year for another screenplay that I wrote. And, uh, uh, yeah, it's just great to be able to come and interact with the filmmakers, and then you end up meeting filmmakers who are interested in your screenplay and then we end up collaborating in the future so it's it's just a big networking process yeah this whole mingle night is pretty cool it's always cool i mean this yeah. is the i mean I, I love watching new films i mean pasadena film festival is great because they have some really really good talent like some of some of the best shorts and features i've seen from up and coming filmmakers and then the networking events are, are great as well i mean I, I i stayed in touch with all the guys i met last year you know, still to this day, I, I've been meeting up with them since I've been in town. But it's a it's a really good event, and yeah, these little networking soirees are great. So, what is the name of your script, and how did Pasadena inspire it? The name of the script is Back When, and it's based on a friend of mine's autobiography. And I, his name is Joey Covington, and I met Joey on the bus. We used to both take the bus from Pasadena to Hollywood. We were both working in Hollywood at the time. And he was telling me his story about growing up in Harlem, New York, in the 60s and 70s, and how he had written a manuscript and he was trying to make it into an autobiography. So he let me read the manuscript, and uh, I loved it. And he turned it into a book. It's got publishing and everything now. And I wrote the uh, ad adapted screenplay for it. Oh, nice. So then, uh, what comes of that, uh, your involvement of in the film festival? Uh, notoriety do you yeah. ever meet anybody in that thing like this where it's like hey i'm interested in a sale is this a big enough thing or would this propel you to yet another festival where maybe that type of thing could happen for you oh yeah no that that, that always happens uh especially you know like like i said you never know who you're going to meet at these things and it's like you could you know even just sitting in the theater you end up talking to someone you find out they're a netflix producer or something <laughs> like that and in fact i got a hundred uh, g's i don't know what to do with yeah and you're the guy right? exactly <laughs> and in fact um last year i ended up winning uh, a, 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 a festival a, a screenplay festival uh and the the prize was you know meeting with uh netflix or amazon you know uh, oh, cool. acquisition guys and everything like that so it actually it's it's kind of a lot easier you know as a screenplay writer because you just submit it online there's no need for you know uh online or i'm sorry um what do they call it like the screeners and everything yeah, that yeah. the filmmakers need to use so it's like you can just do it online and then if you win you know you either get like cash prizes and you don't really have to go anywhere you don't have to come out of pocket for anything except for the wga fees and then you know a lot of them have like you know um, meetings with agents or managers or executives and everything so i, I originally when i started submitting screenplays uh, to film festivals it was for the cash prizes but i re you know but i realized that there was other prizes that were even more valuable than the cash like the industry connections and everything as well Microboys. The Pasadena gangs. Yeah, yeah, gotta be real. careful. You watch out for the Pasadena <laughs> gangs. Uh, and you, but you still live around here. So, what is? Uh, have, is it like a short film? Uh, do you go out of town with the script? Does it go to other? I mean, you talk about a lot of Vine Line festivals. Is, is there not much else oh, that yeah. does it like this? Or do you have you been off to? anywhere else I actually script. just got back from uh, South by Southwest I flew in oh, okay. yesterday and uh, I came straight into LAX and came straight here that was like the first place I came because I I had so much fun last year I was here all 10 days for the Pasadena Film nice. Festival and so I missed the first couple days because I was at South by Southwest and then you know, made it a point to come in. Did you have a weekend. script down there? Or did you just go see films? No, I actually, uh, I, w I went out there because I had friends uh, that live in the area that were working the festival, and they were like, hey, we can get you in if you want to come. And I was like, why not? I was at Sundance earlier this year as well, doing some networking there. So I figured, why not hit a couple of the biggest ones? But I got to tell you, 
Pasadena Film Festival is my favorite one. And I just got back from South By and from Sundance, and this is okay. by far my favorite one. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I just wondered if the, you go on that, you know, because you make a film and then you go on that trek. You're around the country. I go to Chicago, then I'm off to Atlanta, right. or I'm off to D.C. or Seattle, or whatever, and you're traveling around with your film. The script is so much online now, you don't, you don't make those travels quite uh, as much if, anymore? If it's an actual film festival, so there's some uh, screenplay festivals where it's only... Like online, and it's only screenplays. Yeah, yeah you then, were saying so that sucks. Then, you miss out on the travel. Then again, it's probably cheaper. Well, yeah. <laughs> then, then there's that. But then, like, there's there's ones like this, or like uh, last uh, um, last year, uh, I went to the Austin Film Festival. It's called the Austin Revolution Film Festival. Oh yeah, I know. That. Yeah, and uh, so I actually went out there because it, I got nominated for best screenplay or best uh, TV pilot. Uh, not a bad the, town to visit. No, not at all. Oh, I was like, cool. don't, yeah, don't threaten me with a good time. I was <laughs> yeah, like, okay, exactly. if I'm being nominated, like, give me a reason <laughs> to go to go out there, and you know, you get all kinds of discounts on the hotels and everything. So, you know, I just figured it was a no-brainer to go out there. So there's certain ones where it's like, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll go out there, I'll, I'll make the trek, especially if you're being nominated or something. You know, I still want to get out yeah. there and network. That's that's a lot of fun to me. I know there's like, I was just at a uh, a networking thing earlier or a. Um, uh, what was it like a, a script writers like networking thing earlier and they said like I know it's hard as writers for us to get out there and sell ourselves and network but for me it's never been that way like I love getting out especially talking to creative artists like this you know and being able to meet other filmmakers meet other writers I just met somebody that does wardrobe design I know a guy over here that does music and everything and we all end up collaborating in the future like because it's like we, we all want to get together and build something you know we all want to be a part of the creative process and that's what I love about these hey, things. getting out of your house is half the battle so if yeah. people showed up, that means they're they want they're hungry. Exactly. And I lean into enthusiasm. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, one last thing, uh, ask us of everybody, what's your favorite movie of all time? You can't do that to me. I can do that to anyone I want, Matthew. Right. I'll tell you. I'll tell you the <laughs> film that inspired me to get into filmmaking, and it was Heat, directed by Michael Mann. Oh, yes. So I was 13 years old when Heat was in the movie theater, and I remember one night I was up late watching Saturday Night Live, I think, and my dad couldn't sleep, and he was like, "You want to get out of here? Like, I want to go see Heat. I want to go see the new Michael Mann movie." I knew nothing about it, and I was like, "Okay." You're 13. I was 13. There's a lot to ask of a 13-year-old. Yeah, movie. And, it, and it was like 10:30 at night too, so we were going to like the 11 o'clock showing. Like, I didn't know this was going to be like a three and a half hour movie or whatever. Your patience is asked of. Yeah, and for, so, for a 13-year-old. But like, I was, I was fat at 13 years old. I was fascinated with the movie because there was so many characters, so many famous people so much going on in that story but I was still able to follow it at such a young age and I remember like even though it was late at night and I thought I was going to fall asleep in the theater I was on like the edge of my seat the whole time and I was just like wow like I, I want to do that like I want to be able to make people feel the way that I felt while watching Pete like what Michael Mann was able to do and uh, it, it, it inspired me to, to make my own feature film 10 years later you know at 23 years old I made my first feature film have you been around town to visit like all the shooting locations uh, you can make heat? a day of that, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's I, fun. I, well, they I, tore I, down the restaurant with the, with, yeah. with the big scene. I heard, but the I bank's heard, downtown. Yeah. And there's all sorts of cool spots. I, I've, I've been to the bank, but there's a few of them that I still haven't uh, gotten a chance to, to, to visit. But actually, a few years ago, I, um, I, I had a buddy who was uh, uh, Michael Mann's assistant. And when they were doing the show Luck, which uh, for HBO, which unfortunately got canceled, yeah. they, uh, they, 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 they he called me in to be part of a test audience to watch like the first season you know, a year before it even came out, and I actually got to meet my hero, Michael Mann, you know, at his offices watching Luck and everything, and it was just an awesome moment, you know. Wait, where's the, yeah, I feel like there's been a drought in the Michael Mann resume. It really we're, has. Due, we're due, aren't we? Yeah. For something. I, was, I, I saw him, he was on um, Adam Carolla's podcast recently, and I was like, where, yeah, like, what, what, I, what, I haven't seen a man flick in something. a while, and you know, I, I was, yeah. He, I remember specifically, I went to see Friday Night Lights, and you know, in, in LA, you get Q&As with right. movies a lot, so they were going to have a Q&A with Peter Berg. Michael Mann shows up to moderate yeah. the Q&A. Peter Berg's like, how, I, I have questions for you. Yeah. What are you asking me questions for? Like, you're Michael Mann. Like, he couldn't believe it. You know, that, that's kind of a cool LA thing. You oh, know? for sure. I think yeah. they, they work together a lot. They collaborate on yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and but and he's everything. just like... I, I should be asking you the <laughs> yeah, questions. What am, yeah. This is like role reversal. It's crazy. That would be amazing yeah. to, to have him asking, asking, you know, especially if you look up to him. He's the one asking you questions about your film. That, and I mean, such a technical guy, you know, like everything that he does. It, it has, a very purposeful director. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of detail. Yeah. And uh, like I said, when, when I saw Heat, it just blew my mind. I was just 
blown away at what, what he was able to do with, with, with that whole collaboration, you know, and it was uh, one of my favorite films. So, cool. yeah, I guess that's my favorite one. All right. That's a good call. Yeah, you're not going to run with that. And I think it's the first time I've heard it in all my interviews. Really? Other people have mentioned that, yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, I can t- guarantee it because I remember the last time somebody brought it up, it was playing down at the New Beverly. Like, oh, that okay. next week, I'm like, we got to go. I mean, we never made it, but... Uh, I'm sure he probably went. Oh, yeah. Are you see that on big screen again? I, I'd see that again on the big screen. All right, well, thank Matthew. Uh, best of luck with the script and wherever you, it goes from here. And it sounds like you're super prolific, so good luck with whatever it is you're back here again with next year. Appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks so much. And we'll be back again with more filmmakers. <laughs>